l'hôpital de Dubirka. Les docteurs, eux, ils ont fui. Donc, c'est la revendication de ça là que nous sommes en train de faire. Les malades. Ok. Just before the interview, I've just stopped it. Just before the interview comes back in again, what was the young man telling us? I saw an image as well of a young woman on on a bed who looked very poorly. What what was he saying? Um, he's he's saying wow. He's saying that um, we are here because there are two French doctors that came to vaccinate the children at the school. Who at the two, two, two two what? Sorry, French doctors. Two strange doctors. No, French, French, French. French. European yes. French. Yes, European French doctors uh -huh. came to the school uh -huh. to vaccinate um, the children. Uh -huh. And to say that all the children that they vaccinated, they've all fallen. Two of them are dead. Oh, my God. And the remaining, and the remaining of them are in, in the hospital of Dubreka. Oh, gosh. At the moment. Oh, my good God. I've just gone cold. So and two it, French it, doctors have turned up at a school yes. in a village in Guinea, vaccinated yes. all the children, two yes. died, what, almost immediately? Immediately, immediately, oh. pretty, mu pretty much within hours, uh, two died, and, um, um, and then the, some, some of them... So are two, also died in the two died immediately, and then did any more die afterwards, did he say? You know, he didn't say any, you know, he just okay. said these two died yeah. within, uh, within hours within of taking hours. the uh, vaccination. Mm -hmm. And the rest of them are now in the hospital in Dubreka. Oh, and God. they're looking for the two doctors and the two doctors have run away. Mm -mm. Family, you see why we need to be talking about this to try and get this message out to every village and every compound in every corner of Africa? My gosh, yes. what government allows doctors, you know, pseudo doctors to come into their country and vaccinate and go to the school and carry out a vaccination program without mm. checking what's in those vaccination vials before they give it to the, the students. You think anyone could just yes. turn up at our schools here in the UK and say, oh, by the way, you know, we're from France and we've come to vaccinate all the children in the school. They would be arrested on the spot. The school would call Absolutely. the authorities. The schools would call the police. You know, but yes. our people, some of us, and let's continue with the interview uh, so we can hear what else has been said, my sis. Transporté okay. d'urgence à l'hôpital préfectoral de Dubreka était au nombre de trois filles, toutes des élèves. Elle nous a donné les médicaments. Que, je, pas, je ne sais pas c'est quelle sorte de médicaments. Elles nous ont donné. Moi aussi j'ai pris. C'est quatre qu'elles m'ont donné. J'ai pris deux. And then they showed this young girl. She must be about maybe 15, 16, mm -hmm. um, in the bed, and saying that they gave us medication, they gave us vaccination, and they gave us four tablets. Mm -hmm. I took two. Mm -hmm. I took two, mm -hmm. and now my stomach is aching me. I cannot breathe. I'm, I'm almost going to die. Oh. So that's what the young girl is saying. And she took two. Maybe the other two took the to call for you see what we're saying about these contaminated tablets that they're sending yes. to africa and let me but let's continue they're going to interview another girl who's obviously sick on the hospital bed as well let's play yes. La troisième okay, personne let's affectée let's par hear, le. Let's hear what that young girl had to say, please. Okay, so this young girl, this one is laying down in on, on the bed. She's almost, you know, dying. She says that yes, they gave me vaccination. They gave me uh, two medications. I don't know what's in, the, in them. I took them. Um, I got home and my stomach started to ache. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in the hospital, dying. Mm -hmm. Let's hear what the interviewer says after interviewing the two girls. Let's play. Vaccin incriminé souffrait encore quand notre équipe arrivait. 
à côté d'elle, sa mère en train de la ventiler. Vu la teneur de la situation, nous avons tenté de joindre le préfet et le directeur préfectoral de la santé, mais en vain. Le seul répondant au niveau de la préfecture, c'était le secrétaire général chargé des collectivités. Okay, Ce dernier uh... nous a expliqué comment il a été okay. informé. Yes. Une panique. Let's stop just before we bring in the the official. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, again, the interview is saying that um, pretty much the same thing. Um, is showing a third girl um, who is also in the hospital, uh, being ventilated by her mother, also in extreme pain, and uh, they're saying that they've been trying to um, get in touch with the local authorities. But they cannot reach them. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yes, that's that's where we stopped. Wow. So okay. So now uh, there appears to be an official uh, behind yes. an office. The the clip has gone to uh, an office now, and there's an official uh, with a flag behind it. Let's play and hear what he has to say. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, first of all, sis, can you stop and just confirm who he is? His name flashed up. Oh, yes. Okay. So this guy um, is just um, a sec secretary general mm -hmm. uh, um, representing the people, uh, the, representing the local people. Basically, he's not, he's not the decision maker. He's just like. Uh, How can I even say? It's not even. It's not. It's not even somebody that is that important in the in is the that, local authority. So he's the only one. Non, non elected uh, community representative. So exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay, my yes. sis. Let's hear what he's got to say. Point de vaccination, qui était en cours dans plusieurs de nos collectivités. Et c'est ton nom qui a donné le ton. On a été alerté. Le sous-préfet a alerté l'autorité comme quoi. Euh, les enfants sont en train de subir quelques malaises suite euh, à l'administration euh, du vaccin. Et okay. je pense que le calme est revenu. À ok, je vais stopper. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Euh, C'est vrai. Ok. So he's saying that um, um, it is uh, panic general going on in the in the village. Um, following the vaccination campaign that was going on, and uh, he was alerted that uh, two children have died, and um, and that he's looking into into the matter, and um, and um, what else did you say? Um, and that yeah, he's looking into into the matter, and um, yeah, that's it for now. And okay. That's where I stand. Okay, so it was part of a vaccination campaign. Yes, there yeah, was a vaccination campaign going on. Right, yeah. and so they were all expecting to be vaccinated and had been prepared yes. for this vaccination yeah. campaign because I've seen some of the World Health Organization's news that they put out about these vaccination campaigns all over Africa. You know, and in the show that went before my show, there was an interview by um, Professor Sally, and he was recommending um, a book to us as well, actually. Uh, I'll find the title of the book, but it was um, a book that had been written about HIV, AIDS, uh, Ebola, and emerging viruses, and uh, how it spread through the vaccinations. But, but we'll come back. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's finish mm -hmm. this off. If there's only about 15 seconds left of, of this clip. Here we go. Okay. Il y a eu beaucoup de désinformation autour de ça. Les gens ont parlé des cas de, de, de décès. Et à ma connaissance, à l'heure actuelle, nous n'a pas été remonté un seul cas de mort. Okay. That's it. So that's the clip. I've got it on... Um, Facebook. Uh, I think I posted it on my Facebook page. If anybody wants to, to go there and watch it, you can go to the Sister mm -hmm. Shanice show Facebook page and it will come up. What did he have to say towards the end there, please, my sis? Right. He's saying that um, um, at that particular moment, there, have, there haven't been any further, you know, deaths recorded. Um, and that the, you know, the calm seems to have returned to the road, to the, to the streets. At that particular moment, and uh, and that um, 
and yeah, so that that is um, that that's it really. He, he didn't talk about what are they going to do to the doctors. Where are the doctors? Who is protecting them? It is not even mentioning that at all. His focus is just on the uh, mayhem that's going on in the street, and that uh, that, that you know no further deaths have been recorded, and the calm has returned to the streets. That's it. Use this. Just use this. Wow. Sis, please um, just give us a synopsis again of what was being said in that interview, please. Right, yes. So um, the interviewer, you know, um, got to the hospital, interviewed some, some three ladies who uh, were vaccinated and then were given tablets. And they're saying that we didn't, we don't know what, uh, what the tablets were for. We took the tablets. We got home, our stomach started to ache, and now we're here in the hospital dying. Uh, we, you know, we took, we took the medication. They kept repeating, we took the, medicine, we, the medication. We don't know what's in the medication. Mm. We took the medication. We don't know what's in the medication. You know, and, and the interviewer tried to get in touch with the local mayor and, um, and the, the authorities um, in the village. They were nowhere to be found. They managed to speak with, um, with the representative of the people, and uh, he was 